Hey there, welcome again to my channel. My name is Adeinka Otuba. If you're seeing me for the first time, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi, what's up? Thank you for always coming back. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how I edit my food video using Kine Master. I don't do it. Um, I don't really edit my food video on Kine Master. I edit all of my videos on Kine Master, even my YouTube video, because I don't have the final cut app yet. But the Kine Master is um, the closest thing you can get to the professional editing app, and I hear that the Kine Master also does the things that the Final Cut Pro does. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my food video using the Kine Master. If this sounds like what you want to watch, then definitely keep watching. Thank you. all right let's get started so here's what the screen looks like so i'm going to select the 16.9 which is the size for youtube uh so um right now i'm going into my um gallery so i just clicked on media and i'm going to be selecting the files that i would like to edit so over here now i've selected the files that i want to edit so i'm gonna zoom to the big i'm going to skip to the beginning and i'm just gonna zoom in and then make sure that the start position is also the same thing as the end position which is what i just did now with the click of the button so um now i'm just cross checking that and i've also extracted my audio by cl clicking the extract audio so i'm doing the same thing with this too as well so um pan zooming it now and then making sure the uh, start position and the end positions are the same so i'm also going to be extracting the audio right now from this video and then I just extracted the audio I've done that I'm going to do the same thing to the third clip as well pan zoom and then make sure the end position is the same as the start position and then extract the audio then I'm going to do the fourth one as well I'm going to do the same thing to the fourth one so notice how my background is a little chaotic and once i zoom it it's just gonna be my surface for my uh, recording that is going to be showing in the frame and that's what i'm trying to do so i'm going to do the same thing to this as well and you get the gist so those are the first things i do before i start getting into um text and all of that stuff which i'm going to be getting to in in a minute now so i'm going to do the last one as well pan zoom and then make sure the end position is the same thing and that's that so after doing that i'm going to be clicking on all the audios and i'm going to be deleting them so you can see the trash on the left side of the of the screen i don't know i forgot that just now so now that i'm done doing that i'm going to uh So that clip was too long, so what I did there was to split it at the beginning. So I deleted that part of the clip that I didn't want. And I was just looking at the other clips to make sure that I didn't have any unwanted clips in there. So any unwanted clip, I just uh, split it and delete it like I'm doing right now. So, and then sometimes when I don't want to split and delete and I just want it to be fast, I just use the speed to uh, make it fast so you know when you use speed it also shortens the length of the video so i use uh, the speed in some part of the video which is what i'm doing right now and i just increase the speed from one to two i did the same thing from for this one i increased this to 1.5 
And then this one was a little long, so and I think I increased it to about a 2.5 as well. Then I was just looking to make sure, because that one was still long, and it was just basically blending. So I said, okay. So I increased it to a 3.5. So I'm going to also be doing the same for this. So you notice how the video went from a minute and a few seconds to 41 seconds now. And... When I'm done doing that, I'm going to be cutting this video as well. Alright, just looking at the video to make sure I know what I'm doing for it. To see if I want to cut it or add a speed to it. So I added speed to it and that shortened the length of the video to... 30 seconds and now that I've done that I just go back and look at my videos you guys when I'm editing I probably watch the video at least 20 times or 25 times to make sure that um, I don't have any unnecessary parts in the video or I don't have any or I don't have any part uh, any mistake in the video so so right now I'm just rewatching the video to make sure that that's, that's not the case. So after doing that, I go back again to the beginning of the video and I start to add the transitions. So I usually like to use the folding screen and sometimes I like to use the uh, font transitions, which is like the ads and all those things. So right now I use the folding screen, I use the number two of the folding screen. So I'm just positioning my transitions in the part that I want the video to transition. And uh, after doing that, I go to media and I go to media and I try to add, um, I try to add, uh, what's the call to it, the video. I try to add um, a front cover. So I try to, because I already took a picture of the smoothie, so, and I already edited the picture in Lightroom. So I'm just going to put that as a cover. So that's going to be the first thing you see when you're watching the video. So I put the cover, then I also like, like to label the cover, like the name of whatever dish or whatever the smoothie is going to be, I try to label it. So now I'm just watching to make sure that my transition and everything is doing what it's supposed to do. So that's what I'm still doing now, just watching to make sure that the transition is doing what it's supposed to do. Now, also note that the transition also cuts the video. I mean, it also uh, reduces the length of the video. So I added another transition to that part of the video. And that's that. So I'm just looking to make sure that that, uh, that is good. So even right now, I'm also using uh, Kine Master to also do this video that I'm doing. So now let's get it to the text. I'm doing the text now and I'm going to name it the Blueberry Coconut Smoothie. So now that I've done that, I'm going to um, outline the text. So I usually like to leave that in black and white. And then I also like to change the background. Okay, that's just a new thing I did for this video. So I change the background of this video and I get to select whichever color that I want to select. So my brand color for my full page is pink. So I'm just going to use pink and I'm going to increase the sharpness of the pink and then I finished doing that and I'm just trying to find a place to position it to make sure that um, is well positioned. Now the in animation means that um, what the uh, 
I mean, how the text shows in your foot or in your edit. So that's what I'm doing now. And I like to choose pop, so it just pops. And then when it's going back, it um, slides right. So I'm just playing with all the out animation that it has just so that you guys can see what those different animation does. And you can see that uh, snap in what just like snaps it, the exit out, uh, slide up, exit side, uh, slide up and all of that stuff. So, but I didn't use any of those. I use one of the first ones that is up there, which is the slide right, even correct, that slide left or right, I guess. I use the left one for that. So I'm going to crop it now to make sure that is the same length as the... So this is the overall animation. If you want like the whole text to do something overall, but I don't like to use the overall animation. I usually just use um, the in animation and the out animation. So now I'm just cropping it to make sure that it starts and ends when my front picture shows and I'm going to watch the video again so now I'm putting text I'm going to add text now for all of um, my for all of my shots now so now I'm just doing what I've done basically with the first text so I'm going to outline it white and black I'm going to also color the background pink and that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to increase the uh, the color to make sure that it's very pink. And um, I'm going to reduce the size, the font size. And I'm, I like to put my text on the bottom when I'm editing my food videos. And um, after I'm done doing that, I'm going to add my in animation, which is the pop. And I'm going to add my out animation, which is the slide right and that's that for that one now i'm going to do the same thing for the blueberries as well yeah so that's exactly what i'm doing so just adding text for all of the all of the clips so I've done that now and I'm going to shorten it to make sure that it's just in the frame and it only shows when I'm pouring the blueberries I'm going to do the same thing for the bananas as well right now I'm also editing this video in InShot app and I'm using the record so that's how I get to um, record my voice on this video to make sure that I mean because I wasn't speaking when I was doing this so now I'm just recording my voice on it using the kind of master record So let's pop in out animation, slide right, and that's that. And you can also increase the speed of the uh, text if you want. If you want the text to appear faster, you can increase the speed of it. So I'm going to do the same thing for the Blackberry. Yeah, when 
I first started using this app, I was always so confused. I didn't understand um, how to use it because um, I was so used to using uh, InShot, but this was a little too professional, and I was just always so confused, and I'm like, okay, how do I use this? What do I do with this app now? And I tried to watch um, videos on it on um, YouTube, but is it that the videos were too fast or the recording was not like the explanation Oh, I didn't understand the explanation, you know, and that's why I'm doing this video for anybody out there that is trying to use this app to edit their videos and don't know how to go about it. So I'm just doing this to make sure that you do use this. You know, this is a really good app. I barely even use InShot anymore. But if you want me to do a video of how I edit using InShot, then um, please drop it down in the comment section and I'll be sure to um, create that video for you. Or if you want me to do another video of me using the Kind of Master to edit my YouTube video, then you can drop that in the comment section and then I'll do that for you guys, you know. Done doing the Blackberry now and... Um, I'm just adding the out animation. I'm going to do the same thing for So I'm just going to write something for the blending as well. And uh, you can also add um, a glow if you want the text to be glowy. So right there on the side, you can see the glow. And this is that's what I'm trying to play with here, just so you can see what the glow does. So I'm going to try and pick another color that will make it pop, just so you can see the glow effect in this uh, video, um, in this text. So... Uh, I'm going to go back now and outline that so you can see properly. And I'm going to go back and choose another color to make sure that it pops just so you can see what the glow effect really does. So if you want your text to be glowy, then yeah, you can see that that's glowy. I was just doing this just for practice, just for you guys to see that you can also use the glow effect on your text. So, um, I'm going to go back now and just change another color because I couldn't see what the glow was doing in there. So I guess the color I had to too um, deep, so I wanted to choose another contrasting color. So I'm going to go and choose this uh, blue just so you can see that and uh, I'm going to be zooming it uh, out now. Can you see how the blue is, you know, now shining through, you know, how it's glowy around the black and white. So that's that. So I'm going to take that off now because I'm just doing that for practice purposes. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video and my steps that I use in editing my food video. Um, I'm going to also be doing another video very soon on how I edit my YouTube video using the Kine Master. And I do hope that you found this video um, useful and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share my video as well. Thank you guys so much and have a lovely day. Bye. Thank you.